a lot of stuff floating, but lots a lot of water. Good morning. It's day 45. I had a good night's sleep and only drizzled a little bit. It actually didn't drizzle as much as I thought. And today it's super cloudy, which is, I guess, good because we're at a low elevation and out in the open for a while. And uh, I'm going to try to hit 24 today. I calculated out there's only 1,300 feet of elevation gain, so I should try to hit 25. But I'm starting the same time yesterday. And uh, today there's a water source at two miles. There's a water source around six or seven miles. And then there's a water source at 16. So I'm just gonna go to the two because I don't have much water. And I'm gonna get a lot of water at every water source I see because there, there aren't that many up here. After the 16, it's like 31. So another 15 for the next water source. So it's every water source that has water is precious. So I'm gonna go to this two get like three liters and go to the six, chug up a whole bunch and then fill up again before I go to the 16 one. Cause once the sun's out in the clouds, it's gonna be a hot one again. So let's get going. It's pretty exciting. Two, if we do two full days of like 24s, we can get to Tucson the next day on a Sunday and actually go to the hotel and shower. And then Monday morning, call the national park and get the permit and everything and then actually i was thinking monday i'll, I'll actually just head into the uh, grand canyon national park and i'll stay at the campground right there so whenever i get to go i can just hike down from there it's only 17 miles to the campsite and it's mostly down so i think that'll be a that's a good plan and i'll just stay at the campsite the general store is at the park that's the good one so I'll resupply once I set up camp at the campsite. So I think it's a good plan. I just have to rock out another 24 and then 23 or 24 tomorrow. And then I'll be totally solid. So let's uh, let's uh, head on up the trail and see how this first water source looks. Bye-bye campsite. Look how clear it is. I moved all the big rocks off. So nice. Hopefully someone else uses it. I mean, look how clear it is. I'd be pretty happy to spot this thing especially surrounded by bushes like this, it's a good spot. Most of my split skins has healed, but check this one out, new one. I just got it yesterday. Look at you could pull it open. Oh gosh, it's a big one. I'm up at East Cedar Tank, the first water source at two miles. This one's dry. There's a tank up there, but then I just got a first glimpse. Wow, that thing's actually really full. It almost looks like it's up to the edge somehow. How's it getting all its water? All the tank's water is coming from this metal container. It's just overflowing and then going down there. So much water. Amazing. Definitely a good water source here. Definitely. It's a little bit of a walk though. We've been walking on these forest roads for quite a while now. And I actually really like it. It's pretty level, not too many rocks, smooth, mostly straight, and making good miles. I wouldn't mind if we kept doing this for a while. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's like this right after the North Rim, because then it's wide open, exposed, so the sun really melts off all that snow. We'll see. So there's a water source, maybe six miles from here. Uh, it will only be eight miles in for the day, but I was wondering, like, should I just get the rest of the waters, water for the rest of the day there? Because the water source that's up at like 16, maybe 14, it uh, it's 1.2 miles round trip. That's a long, round trip I don't know tough decision if I get 6 liters of water because I have to make it 15 miles past that if I get 6 liters of water at this next one I'll be carrying that for a long time but if I get if I'm willing to walk the 1.2 mile round trip I 
only have to carry like two liters for seven miles, eight miles. So what's faster? Going seven miles, just carrying about four pounds of water altogether, or the same six miles rather, carrying 12 pounds of water. Six liters be 12 pounds of water. I don't know. I, I don't know. Will I be more tired because I'm carrying so much more weight for those few miles? I'm more tired doing a 1.2 mile run trip. Behind us, way back there, you can actually see the mountains that we walked right by. Still, so snowy. And the hills actually have some patches of snow up there. I guess that's where the springs are getting water. But we are on this nice road here. It's going north, and it's very level. And I've seen three cars so far. So, can't just pee anytime I want. I gotta have to look out for them. I saw this hawk fly up off the ground and he was carrying, it looked like a mouse in his mouth. And I put my phone out as fast as I could, but then it was set on my, my uh, selfie camera and uh, <laughs> I flipped it and then it was still on photo. I missed it. Hopefully the photo shows something. Here comes a water tank. I'm not sure what that truck's doing there. Is it filling or taking? It's taking, that's, that's a big truck. There's horses and cows nearby. Oh man, there's a ladder there. I hope I don't have to climb up the ladder. Never know how low the water is gonna be. So here at Top Tank, you have several options. You can go to this. If the water is high enough, you can scoop out of the top. It is right now, but if it isn't, there are cow troughs off to the side. There's a gate over to the side. I don't know if you're allowed to go there, but you can go there and get water. I mean, there's a lot of water there. It's probably being fed through here. So, two options. It's pretty good. Look at all that water up here. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's keeping it full. So that's awesome. This one's weird. It has like a concrete spray inside of the metal. Do you see that? I guess that works better. Hmm. Well, it's noon and I've done 11.5 miles so far. So I thought I'd take a break and eat my lunch. I'm sitting behind this juniper bush just because it's super windy out here. And I've been staring at the clouds because it's there's some dark clouds and some clouds that look like precipitation. I won't say whether you're gonna miss me or not because uh, you know, I don't wanna jinx myself, but 11.5 by 12 in about five hours. Not the best, I guess. Yeah, I think the two water stops really slowed me down. The first one was at least 0.1, maybe 0.2 miles up and then back. And then the second one wasn't too far off, but I did sit there and eat some stuff. To make up for it, I'm gonna have to really go. I, I don't know. I still have that 1.2 miles round trip to get the water and I'll be heavy after that. Still hoping I make at least 23 trail miles today. So at least 11 and, 11 and a half again, <laughs> or 12, we'll see, we'll see. But for now, Chips Ahoy chewy cookies and a few mouthfuls of Fritos and some water. And then we head out four, four and a half miles or so and then the next water source. I had some cell service during the break, so I checked the weather and they say it might rain here. It's been raining south of Flagstaff, that whole area. Um, and the winds are coming from the southeast, so it's coming towards me. But according to the 
radar forecast, they say it's going to be like really limited here. But if I walk really quickly north <laughs> in the next hour, maybe I'll miss some of it. But it's raining out there. This weather. So that's northbound. So the good thing though is after today, no chance of precip precipitation for until my finish day. And as long as the weather here is similar to the weather at the Grand Canyon, they're gonna be all right. Look at this, folks. There's nothing out here. Just barren. There's brush, some junipers, some bushes with pokey leaves. There's nothing out here. It's wide open this. It looks like it's raining quite a bit out there. You see it to the right of the mountain? That's that's pretty thick. And then there's another set of mountains of snow. A little bit more. But that's all blowing to the west, so I'm safe from them, but <laughs> bad weather for everyone behind me. Junction. Yeah, the Arizona Trail sign's been replaced by these. They look nice. I'm curious what this bottom sign means. I'm gonna have to look it up. I thought that's like a, a scale for justice or something. I don't know. But the uh, water source is along this road. Wildlife waterer. So let's go half a mile to point six. Right now it's 2.06. I'd love to be back here at least by 2. 45 I'm being realistic not idealistic and then I have eight more miles to go for to make 24 trail miles and that's pretty good that'll be another 25 mile day so but this is going to be a tough eight miles eight and a half miles because I have to come back here because I'll be carrying six liters of water I think I was thinking about five and a half or six better safe just go six and I like the option of just drinking as much as I want throughout the night. There it is up ahead. It's angled towards us right now. So you think the tank could be on this side, but the gate is on the other side. So we have to walk way past it first. Weird, from the other side, it looked like it angled the other way, but it seems angled this way. Ooh, moment of truth. It's not as full as the others, but there's a lot of water in it. I like how they have the steps so the animals could step down and drink. A lot of stuff floating, but lots of a lot of water. Oh, there's more. On the side, there's another one. A lot of footsteps going this way as well. I think people checking, checking both. Oh, this one's a concrete water catchment system, and this thing is dry. I have the fence around it so the animals won't step on it. Big fence, too. Nice. It collected very clear. It's actually really clear water. There were a lot of floaties in the tank, but there's only like a couple of things up on top there, but super clear water, I'm happy. And it's cold. I'm gonna chug the first liter I filter. I'm not sure what's going on, but the squeeze is really slow. Like no matter how hard I squeeze, it's just a trickle. And if I let it gravity, it just drips. So I'm gonna backflush a lot out of this and that'll give me about a little over five and a half total because I'm gonna use at least this much backflush just to try to get it cleared out. Just gotta last another 10 days or so, please. All right, I'm heading out. It's a little after three. That Sawyer slowed me down quite a bit. I hope, there's, I hope it works okay. I mean, I don't know, I still got a week and a half left. If it slows me down that much, it's gonna be a little problem, but uh, it'll last has to. Now I gotta close this gate. Well, it's 320. I'm back at the Arizona Trail. I like to make at least 7.7 .7 more miles to make it an even 24 for today, despite this detour and the other detour. I guess it'll be over 25 altogether. But I like to make 24 as my goal um, when I spread out the miles on the way to Tucson. So I have 7.7 .7 more to go and it's 320 at 2.5 miles an hour, that's 7.5, that's an even three hours, so I think I'm gonna get to camp by seven. I don't even know where I'm gonna camp. <laughs> I gotta find a spot once I get past the 7.7 .7 mile marker. But wish me luck. Hope my Sawyer's okay, that's my big concern. If it's that slow, I'd just be 
super annoying for another week. All right, let's go. Look at this, folks. Kaibab National Forest. We're in a new national forest. Russell Tank, I think that's where I'm going next. 11.6 miles. It's quite a bit. But yeah, Kaibab National Forest. New, new national forest. Now there's another step to the finish. Well, I made it 24 miles. Now I'm looking for a spot. Seems like there are a lot of potential spots everywhere. But I haven't seen anything really good. There's no wind today, so maybe it'll be okay as far as being open, but it's nice. There's so many trees and bushes around. I don't feel any wind at all here. So let's find a spot. The sun's about to hit the horizon. Trail, and look at that. I don't see any big rocks. It just looks like it was mud and then it all melted, but I'm gonna stomp around and just flatten it out and I'm just gonna stay here, right next to the trail. But at least I'm not on the trail. Well, there's the tent for tonight and the sun is just about set. It's actually been pretty warm and uh, I don't think it's gonna be cold at all tonight. Yesterday wasn't either, but uh, yeah, good long, tiring day. The one thing that does have me concerned is that water filter. It was it was actually flowing really well before I started filtering over there, and then by the time I finished the six liter, it was pretty slow, and I had to squeeze pretty hard, and I back flushed a half liter out of it. I'm hoping tomorrow, because of all that back flushing, it's better, but. I actually checked, I had some service, I checked Amazon to see how quickly they can general deliver to the post office in Grand Canyon, and it's Tuesday, so I can't get that. I checked for lockers for delivery in Tucson, but no lockers there. Some small towns have lockers, um, like Amazon lockers for delivery. I have several plans now. When I get to the hotel, I am just going to back flush it like crazy. And I'm just going to drip back flush it and just back flush it like with two liters of water. Just nonstop. Hoping to get, I think, I bet it's like algae that got in there. And just jammed it up. And it's weird that the back flushing is just isn't getting it out. But uh, I'm going to do that. And if that doesn't work, I'm hoping at the Grand Canyon uh, general store that they actually have water filters there. I heard they have camping gear and maybe there um my plan is also monday to go stay at tucson and then tuesday it's six miles up the grand canyon stay there at the mather campground uh, as i wait for my pass to leave tuesday morning to get down tuesday night or tuesday you know basically tuesday go down to the bottom and uh i'm gonna walk around and see if anybody at mather has a filter that they want to sell me a used water filter, anything is probably going to be better than what I have. And if that doesn't work, I'll check at the bottom at Bright Angel Campground, see if somebody has one that could sell me. And if not, I guess I can, I'll have to live with it for five more days. But I don't want to. But I think I can. I think I've had worse filters before. It's just annoying. And it takes time to filter. So because of that, tomorrow I'm going to try to wake up at 5.30 and leave by 6.30. Just to give me some more time to filter water, I think. The water, it's always an issue, huh? By the way, my legs got filthy today. All that dust from that road walking and that soft trail, I got a lot of wipe down here. Not only are my legs dirty, but my feet are... Dirty. This is like PCT dirty. Maybe a little less actually. But it hasn't been this dirty. I don't know when the last time it's been this dirty. Arizona trails mostly been rocky, not dusty. After using four of those little like dehydrated wipes, all clean. Mostly clean. And my legs are all clean, so now it's time to ready to set up the bed. Well, hello there. I finished eating and everything and I'm just getting ready to go to sleep. I was checking the water reports for tomorrow's hikes as well as the next day and I'm super bummed out. Today, this was a 17 mile stretch with no water so I had to carry five and a half liters. 
Um, 15 miles in will be the next water, well, not the next water source, will be the last water source until we get to town in 36 miles. So we have 21 miles with no water, with a, a dry camp in, in between as well. So it's another one of these, like, get some water, get some water, get six liters of water, and then hike seven miles, camp out, and then hike, I don't know how long, 12 miles into town, thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna get in there and just like stick my mouth underneath a faucet, I think. Another another six liter haul. It's gonna be a tough day tomorrow, so I'm gonna wake up at five thirty, like I said, because um, the Sawyer's not acting as fast as it used to. So, yeah. So, you all have a good night now, and day forty five. I guess it's night forty five, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.